Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factor 2, a fantasy Harvest Moon. Now, ah, so close. Uh, in the last episode, we came out and we did a bunch of stuff for that festival. And in this festival less video, we're actually going to be heading out and doing a bit of grinding. I need to take care of some things first to start the day. Oh, it's actually a Harvest Day. Well... I don't have the other tools on me currently, and as such, we won't be bothering with those. For now, I shall be taking care of my watering. How close are we? We're done here. I got stunned. Oops. Right up here? It's disappearing! Obtain the redstone tablet fragment. Well then, let's keep going. Now, here. I don't think I've looked at this one. What does it say? A precious metal with a silver luster. Bring me five of them. That's not enough of a clue. It actually is silver. It, it's very clear what it is. Four gems. Wild. Well, I got one silver out of all those. Cheap bandage. Nice. Another silver. Another bird feather. Another silver. Well, let's see if I can get some more silver here. Nice. Nice, 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 and go. Gift on. Thanks. Morning. Steamed gyoza tastes wonderful, doesn't it? I really wish I could eat one right now. I like ice cream for dessert. In spring, I'd rather be out in the woods than in here studying lessons. When it's this hot out, you get so tired before you can even notice it. I know what you mean. But if you slack off and fall asleep, you'll get yelled at like Roy. Anybody hungry? Today I'll teach you recipes that will always fill you up. First up is tempura udon. We need some, some tempera, so make that first. Next, put it on top of a bowl of udon. You can dip it in the soup or just eat it as is. Add a sour drop too. Next is a roasted yam. It's just too easy to gorge on these. It's easy to make. First, take a yam and bake it. Once it's baked, brush it with some butter for extra flavor. Next is seafood gratin. This is very similar to regular gratin. Start by using flour. Next, add some shrimp. Remove the shells first. Then finally slice a squid. Next, thinly slice an onion and place it on top. Finally, put on plenty of small cheese, then bake it to finish. This is the last one. It's a seafood doria. Start by placing some rice in a bowl. Next, pour some small milk into a bowl. Then, add some butter. More is better. Put in some more butter. Next, finally cut up a squid and place it on top. Finally, add some shrimp. You can leave the shells on or remove them. Let's go for element rings. Today we'll be making accessories that have elemental attributes. First is a fire ring. First use gold to make the ring section. Next use a hard horn. This is used to hold the crystal in place. Next is a magic crystal. Handle it with care. Then add a fire crystal. Finally add a speckled skin and it's finished. Next up is a wind ring. First use gold to make the ring section. Use a scorpion pincher as a hold for the crystal. Next is a magic crystal. Then add a wind crystal. Finally, add a speckled skin to the ring and you're done. Let's try making a water ring next. First use gold to make the ring section. Use a panther claw as a holder for the crystal. Next is a magic crystal. Whittle it down small. Next, whittle down a water crystal. Finally, use the speckled skin to finish the ring. 
Finally, let's make an earth ring. First, use some gold to make the ring section. Use a giant's fingernail to hold the crystal in place. Then, add a magic crystal. Next, add an earth crystal. Finally, use a speckled skin to complete the ring. And that's all the lessons for today. I might have all the materials for that. I might just make that real quick. Over here, accessory crafting. We're gonna put in a speckled skin, a magic crystal, an earth crystal, a giant's fingernail, and a gold. With a 100% chance of making the earth ring. I figured that would use up a bunch of our resources for something we need to make. And it takes silver to upgrade, but it's, you know, something we can do easy. So I'd rather use silver on something else. Alright. Earth ring. A ring brimming with the power of the earth. Its energy gives the wear protection against earth. So... Five more attack. Four more defense. Let's just look at the base thing. Yeah, five attack, four defense, and earth defense. So if you know you're fighting earth enemies, it's a good thing to wear that ring. There we go. Bronze. Bronze. Medicinal herb. Hum a num a num. Gunpowder. There we go. And more gunpowder. Gunpowder. Very dangerous. Explodive. Explodes if it explodes to fire. Requires very careful handling. So we got two of these. We will need a lot of these in the long run, but we have an easy way to get bronze now as well from this. Two level five silver. Three level one. Look, the writing's starting to appear. Um, now what? It's a completely useless metal. Even so, it's splendid its own way. So bring me 15 of them. We know what we need to do. We need 15 scrap metal. A useless metal? Those aren't very hard to get, to be honest. <laughs> I might still have some, though I may have tossed them recently because I ran out of space a few times. Alright. Mining time. Alright, we're in the mining area now. Now, this is actually extremely easy to do if you're just, you know, putting them in as you get them. If you have better luck than I do and aren't getting a lot of scrap metal, just everyone that you do get, run it over there real quick. Okay, let's run it over. To who? Three. Let's use one of our iron for this real quick. Now if we come over here, we can make this. We can use one of our gunpowder, one of our iron, one of our wolf fangs. One of our shoulder pieces, one of our fish fossils, and one of our broken hilts. Two of these items are only obtainable through the uh, Inquisitive Vault, so... Hope you got that. <laughs> there we go, the pin. Now with a 37% chance, we're going to use up some of our gold. Dang. Success. Skill increased. So that puts us at accessory level 36. And that gives us a little five pin. I suppose I should probably talk about this. A snacky, snazzy looking pin. Some people like to collect them. Raises vitality a little. Yeah. So if I were to just try to equip it, it would raise my defense by 13. As in raising my defense by eight and then by another five for the five vitality. So five vitality is not a bad one. Awesome. We did not have great odds with those, but we still did them. Just to be sure. I don't have more gold. I do have another gold. So I might as well real quick. 
Awesome. Skill increased. Over at the mixer, we're actually gonna blend this into butter. All right, we've already read the thing for gunpowder, but here it is again. And shipped. We can always get more fairly easily. I have one more gold and a need for grinding. Let's do it. The upgrade is zero currently, but we'll soon. How about this? Um, it'll be 1% next level, and the level after that will be 10%. So, not a great use, but in a few levels, it'll be fantastic. What I ended up doing was going in and pulling out all the iron I had in all my storage, and just putting it on me. That way, if I get any iron from any things, I can just try to carry it. I'm sure that it's one of the levels, probably. I also have a couple of bronze, a couple of different old world bronze, so hopefully. Yeah! I am for once actually getting good stuff. Oh! And that's it. We're now max up mining as well. Because why not, I guess. That was necessary. Rad, we love to see it. One, two, two more, and that's all I got. Now, Padova, which has better odds of giving good stuff, so probably not, but we'll see. Could be that I'm unlucky today, or very lucky. I'm also, you know, gaining XP, which I'm gonna need if I'm gonna fight the boss fairly soon. Wow, every different level of this, huh? The sad thing is I know I'm gonna need bronze soon. Did I not get any of the level three or one? Wow. Let's get rid of this. Okay. I'm having to drop piece of bronze for a piece of scrap iron. This hurts. Aquamarine. Thank you. I brought you lunch. Hey, what did we get today? Today you're having curry rice. Yes! You got the curry rice. See you tomorrow. Curry rice is actually good. Yeah. Love it. We're actually gonna sell the curry rice to her. We have a lot of money currently. I'm actually gonna buy a few platinum. I figure this would be a good way to power level real quick. I'm just going to buy a few of them. Probably, I'll go with six to try to get the last like level or so that I need for something. So give me just a moment. All right, we're gonna need two platinum and our platinum shield. Success. Another one. Now, here I am once again. I'm falling into pieces. Skill increased. So, my forging level went from the middle of the V all the way up to the end of the R. Wild. We were doing that with a 19% chance, and we actually did it fairly reliably. You love to see it. From the end of the R back up to the end of the V. Love that. that that's great. Alright, the next item on the dossier for today is to run all the way up here and to kill all of the fish that we run into. Without forgetting to equip our shield for the extra 15 defense. Level up, nice. There we go. Fish fossil. While I'm here. There we go. 
Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Alright. Go protection! And I'm mistaken. I bought this Claymore. I hope I didn't include that in there so I don't confuse people. I meant to buy... Oh, you can't buy it. Oh, give me a second to figure out how to make it. So we're gonna need this Viander. And I'll have to upgrade that into a great sword. So give me a second to figure out how I make this. Okay, over here. I wanna buy something. I actually wanna sell all my extra roots of varying levels. Main reason for this is that I have so many different kinds, I will have to grind more later for different things, and I am willing to accept that. And I hate myself for this, but I'm also going to sell all my bronze. I need the inventory today, and I hate this. But what I'll do is I will go through and I will grind up a bunch of bronze, probably tonight, to prepare for tomorrow because I'll be able to make something really good for grinding items tonight. And then I'll probably, before I start the next episode, actually grind up these again. Now, we need a stack of green. We need a stack of blue, of purple, of yellow, and of white. Now, for this, we will also need medicinal herbs, but I believe I already have a stack. I will grab one stack here. And now we're going to double down on everything except for the medicinal herbs. So, starting with blue, yellow, green, purple, and lastly, white. Alright. Time to get to grinding. So, it is barely, but it's still time to learn. Time to start class. Let's learn special spears. Today you're mostly gonna be... Today you're mostly gonna be learning about making spears with elemental powers. Let's start with a water spear. You'll need a spear. Then, you'll need a water crystal for both the head and the shaft. Reforge the head, mixing it with a scorpion pincher. Use a tortoise shell to make the shaft more sturdy. You can use a cheap cloth for the grip. Stabilize it using a strong string and be set. Next is the wooden staff. I'm not so sure about this as a spear, but first you'll need a spear so you can copy its shape. Put a molten earth crystal into this template. You should also add a root. I've heard Daikon Radish will also strengthen it. Weird, isn't it? After it hardens, bind it using a strong vine. Finish it off by joining everything with a strong string. What do you think? Got it? Finally, we have a poison spear. First, start with a spear. Add some silver. You should use a scorpion tail to make the rest. Be sure to mix in a poison powder as you strike it. You'll need to use a giant's fingernail for the binding. To protect against poison, to protect against the poison, make a root. All right, and let's do spear basics. We're gonna kind of actually. Scrolls of Power seems interesting. Nah, we'll save that for later. Hammers, axes, and sickles. That way we're taking care of this because I'm pretty sure we did this already, but, you know, wrong order. Yeah, we absolutely did this. Yeah, I did that. Cool. Hello. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. School is the place for lessons. Mess around, make too much noise in here, 
and I'll get angry. I hate spring. I get so tired in the springtime. Okay. Over here at the basic cooking area, let's see if we have the recipe for this. We do not. So, I put away the wrong item? Give me a second. Now over here at the basic cooking section, we need one green, one yellow, one blue, one medicinal herb, one white, and one purple. And with all that, we I believe have a like 20% chance of making relaxed tea. Wow, okay. Yeah, 28%. We have a 28% chance of making the relaxed tea leaves. So, let's keep it up. There we go. Skill increased. There we go. I'm getting around half a bar each, so that's awesome. There we go. Skill increased again. The idea here is that I want to power level as cheaply as possible. And since I can purchase these, that's, you know, inexpensive as far as I'm concerned. Dang it. Wave number two. Skill increased again. We surprisingly actually made a stack of them before we made a stack of the failed dishes, so that's awesome. Awesome. We love to see that. Okay, what are we at now? 64%. Let's try to get that to 100%. I'm starting to get concerned that they don't know what 64% means. Did we just succeed like six times in a row? I'm worried. Am I gonna die? Karma's gonna bite me. There we go. Yeah, here's karma. There we go. Skill increased. We're now up to 73%. While I'm out and about, I'm actually gonna pick up another stack of blue and green. As well as clear my inventory. Relaxed tea leaves, a combination of various medicinal herbs, can be eaten as is, but better when made into a tea. All right. Green, blue, medicinal, and bottle. With their powers combined, I am Captain Medicine. There we go. Skill increased. Captain Medicine! Dang it. Captain Medicine! Ah! Captain Medicine! There we go. Now, back to making food. Aha! There we go. It's time to be Captain Medicine! Awesome. I'm glad that actually turned out. So these are healing potions. A dark green fluid medicine. Drink for 300 HP recovery. I figured having these on me would help me just in general. They're almost a full heal in case, you know, of emergency or worst case scenario, I just use them for when I'm grinding. It's all good. So... Jumps around 20% or so per success. So I did the math for these, and it cost me 300 to buy all the ingredients for each of these. If I succeed, it gives me 640. So even if I'm only succeeding with half of them, I'm still making a slight profit. If I'm succeeding with literally all of them, I'm doubling my money every time. So, considering the last batch of them, literally, I failed once. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Success! Salmon sashimi. 82% chance, let's do it. There we go. And shrimp sashimi. There we go. Skill increased. I'm just gonna try to get as much XP as possible out of these. That hurts. Ouch. There we go. Not even good XP. Bleh. Okay, I know these are easy to catch. I don't think I have the recipe for it. Uh, no, but I believe this is the same level. 46%. There we go. How's that for experience? Ah, uh, less than I'd like. Less than half. Alright. Shrimp sashimi. Shrimp first shelled, then served up raw. Generally eaten with soy sauce. Salmon sashimi. Slice of raw salmon served up for consumption. Generally eaten with soy sauce. Time and sashimi. Slices of raw time and served up for consumption, generally eaten with soy sauce. And another one of these, level 9 versus the level 4 we had before. Not bad, not bad. Okay. We're at 31% thus far. It's alright. It's alright. Alright. I need junk. I said I need junk. Junk yard, junk yard. Oh, hey, trans gloves. Now I'm not getting any freaking scrap metal. Ah. Like I said, the bronze is gonna have to go. Because I have a way to get it fairly easily. Sure, hoping for more scrap metal than this. As in any scrap metal. Even one? Sell the ruby! And this level one iron. And the other ruby! Come on. I wanna get lucky. But I don't wanna get lucky. Please stop being lucky. Stop giving me all the silver I wanted five episodes ago. Just realized that my plans kind of went haywire when I didn't really think about what I had said I was doing this episode. I never did more questing, and I also never did the construction I said I was going to do. I was just hyper fixated on the idea of cooking all day long. Oops! What? Well, time to grind! Whoopsie! There we go. Quality fur. And sparkle string. There we go, speckled skin. Right on cue. So this is Vihan there. Sparkle string. Speckled skin. Cheap cloth. Plant stem and spore all together. Make the great sword. Now the fish fossil, a piece of silver. The great sword, the glue, the little crystal, and the shoulder piece all together have a 73% chance of making the katana. Skill will increase. Now, the katana upgrade only requires two iron. And as you may have noticed, I've been stockpiling them all day long. Like, absolutely all day long. So let's do this. 55%. Skill increased. Potion number one. 
Daily potion number two. Skill increased. And I'm done. And man, that was a lot. Okay, uh, check next thing. Katana. This thing has 55 attack, a sword from the Far East. Beauty, sharpness, and strength combined in the professional's choice. It is a two-handed sword, though, so my shield would not work. So I would actually rather keep around the Cutlass, which is a slight drop to attack, but a huge boost to my defense and poison resistance, which is extremely helpful against these. That. Okay, enemy number one dropped. Um, how about enemy number three? Nope. Okay, we're gonna need one more, so... If you could, like, perish... Medication! Also, poison resistance to my butt. One's fine for now. I only need one for what I want to make, I just wanted a second one. Greed and all that. So I'm not positive which enemy drops this. But I think it might be these. And in case it is, I'm gonna try. Yep, that's it. Cool. Okay, if you take a diamond, a quality fur, a skull, an arrowhead, bronze, and finally the insect jaw, you have a 19% chance at my level of making brand glasses. Skill level increased. And of course, brand glasses, the reason we made them, is that you can upgrade them with bronze. And the issue is that they're kind of hard to upgrade. <laughs> I need to up my skill level once more before I go out and grind for bronze. So, uh... Yeah, give me a minute to figure that out. Okay. Pin and gold equals upgrade. Not great, but it's XP, I guess. Okay, uh, before the second, the second half of the second S. Oh, I failed. Alright, last of my gold. So close. I can do this, so why not? Fairy dust, silver, glue, wolfing, proof of warrior, and that pin we made. We'll make another one to ship later, but this is a 55% chance of working. We'll put us over the thing, and it's worth making. The Courage Badge. Skill increased. Now the Courage Badge, right over here, only given to and worn by those with true courage, raises various status, strength, intelligence, and body. So if we take this off real quick. Raises our strength, intelligence, and vitality all by five. Raises our magic attack, our defense, and attack by 5 because of the stat ups, and our magic defense by 2. Definitely not bad. And mind you, this is only a level 3 item. It normally doesn't give any defense as a base thing, but you can upgrade it. It requires scrap iron to upgrade, and it requires 2 pieces of it. But it requires you to be level 55. It's a level 55 recipe, guys. It's kind of rough. But it's a great item to grind with around that point, because scrap iron's so prevalent. So, so long as you're stockpiling it and not being like me, you should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna want to clear this area real quick. And now for the rest of the night, I'm actually just gonna be doing this. Time doesn't pass while it's happening, so I can just keep doing it as long as I have energy. So I'm gonna abuse the crap out of this. I'm gonna get as much bronze as possible and I'm gonna keep grinding with it. You know what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the night, so this is where we part. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factor 2, a fantasy harvest moon. I will be a bit better at accessorizing, 
I will have gunpowder out the wazoo, because I'm getting more lucky on that this time. And, you know, medicinal herbs, because why not, I guess. All of the medicinal herbs. And we got a pom-pom grass. I didn't realize this was one of those spots. Let's talk about that real quick. Has a white cotton ball-like flower which takes to the air when the spring wind blows. Guys, 5,500, that's pretty dang good. Um, I will absolutely ship this once I head back home. So consider that shipped at this point, okay? Okay, see you all next time and hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye-bye. Okay,